trishaws were first introduced in Singapore in 1914. This initial batch of trishaws in 1914 were taken to be sold off in Java and were forgotten. It was in the late 1920s that trishaws returned to Singapore and its use increased with more Chinese immigrants coming over as they find that trishaw riding proved a viable occupation. Trishaws were easier to drive and faster than rickshaws and soon became popular in Southeast Asia. Trishaw Uncle Private Limited is the only operator for Trishaw Tours licensed by the Singapore Tourism Board. Trishaw Uncle continues the heritage of Trishaw drivers for providing transport, rain or shine. I chose to work as a trishaw rider as I received little education in the past with few job opportunities I chose to work as this it has been 30 years since I worked as a trishaw rider nobody recommended jobs to me I looked for jobs myself The changes were big. In the past, we had to use our own feet to pedal to make the trishaw move. Now, we just have to use battery that is installed in the trishaw itself. What we have to do is to charge the battery every day. We don't have to strain ourselves. Another change is that in the past, there were four trishaw operators. Now, we are left with one. Minimum 10 hours at around 7 to 8 a.m. We have to come here to charge the batteries for our trishaws as the batteries take up about 2 to 3 hours to charge. Then we open for business at 11 a.m. Not really. I think that the most important thing is to have a good boss. Like now, we only have one boss who is nice to us. They do not have such transport in their own countries. They find it interesting, but to us, it seems pretty normal as we are used to it. Yes, Singaporeans do take trishaws. As for now, yes, definitely. Some of our trishaw riders are very young, 20 years old only. Also, the company Trishaw Uncle is linked with Singapore Tourism Board. Thus, we do have business in the future. My boss has plans for the future too. After interviewing Uncle Lee, we are glad to hear that there is still a bright future for this industry. We believe that understanding the past and present about the Trishaws is important. This allows us to reflect and learn more about Singapore history and the lifestyle the older generation experienced. Although there are fewer trishaws riders now, they are optimistic about the future. Therefore, the younger generation should continue to preserve this cultural tradition so it does not disappear.